Good day and welcome. Today we spend time with Musi Maimani, the mayoral candidate for Johannesburg. And this is what he had to say. Hi, Lua. Hi, Musi. Um, why do you think young people should vote for DA? Because young people will inherit this country. They'll inherit what happens. They'll inherit a city that either works for them or doesn't work for them. They'll inherit a, a healthcare program that doesn't work for them. They'll inherit infrastructure that's decay. So their future is at stake, actually. And so I want young people to vote for the DA because they believe in tomorrow. And these are young people who maybe have never voted before. Some of them have voted once or twice. And I think that right means that their future is really paramount here. And so when they're voting for the DA, they're voting for someone they know, they can trust. They're voting for an administration that is efficient, that will work for them. And then I think we're positioning for the future. They can vote for an administration where they can engage through every avenue, technology, etc., etc. So I think young people can find a safe place in the DA because it's the most diverse party. And I think looking at tomorrow, the DA is certainly the party for them. Okay, so Musil, what's your favorite team? Pirates or Chiefs? I think in, I am a full on Kaiser Chiefs fan. Uh, my father supports pirates, which makes our home environment quite fascinating. But I think uh, either one of those can win the league ahead of the Sundowns, Pretoria, or the AX in Cape Town. <laughs> oh, it's like speed dating. Hi. <laughs> I like it. Okay. <laughs> How are you doing today? I'm good, thanks. I'm good. Uh, just a question. Why do you think young people should vote? I think we have a rich history of in this country where young people were key in, in terms of political activity. I think many people paid with their lives to give us the right to vote. I think young people need to own the fact that this country is theirs and in a developing economy at least over 53% of, 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 of people in South Africa are under the age of 30, which means there's quite a huge proportion of people who are young. And, and, and I think they bring this sort of vibrancy and I think if they, if they exercise their right, which was hard fought for, Paid for by a price, they should exercise that right. And, and it's a great thing. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, all right, <laughs> thanks. It's like on the spot. <laughs> it's been real. Yo! Where's my jacket? <laughs> Where's my. I should have worn a tie. At the Yeah, dude. Yeah. Muzi, you obviously come from a very political, rich background. So we're talking. It's obviously recognized globally and, and its contribution it made. Um, a big question that I'm sure is on the lips and minds of many people is why did you join the DA? Because, you know, I was in, in South Africa there's a variety of political parties. Nelson Mandela, who was who started a law firm here in Johannesburg, is a key champion of the African National Congress, spoke about a vision for a non racial, non sexist society. In fact, right through the 1960 Rivonia trial to his State of the Nation address, he spoke about this vision. And progressively since then, the icon of the man meant that we can all respect the history of this country and the vision he put forth. Sadly, what's happened is that within, within the African National Congress, that vision is gone. The vision that we need to be responding to today, which is expressed by the DA, is that the future of South Africa does not lie in a, an exclusive environment of cronyism. It really lies in that. It lies in the fact that we want to see a society that is non-racial, non-sexist. We want to see a society where there's equal opportunity for all. We want to see a society where the color of your skin is as irrelevant as the shape of your ears. That's the South Africa we ought to be dreaming of and living for. And that's my belief. And so I come into the Democratic Alliance as a party that is progressively delivering on that message. If you go to Cape Town, you can see that there's no connection on the basis of race. You can see that services are being delivered. You can see that the promise of freedom is being brought forward. And I want to be part of that party. I want to be part of a party that doesn't say we acknowledge what our past has brought us, but we want to see the promise of the future more critical. And so that's why I joined the DA. And I believe that actually any astute young person, a young person who is out there who wants to see a future, who wants to see economic, economic growth happen, who wants to see all of that, that DA is the safest place they can be a part of, that doesn't reward cronyism, that acknowledges the fact that as, as 
uh, young people, we can make a significant contribution to society. That's an amazing party. And when I look across a whole range of parties that exist there, I haven't found the sort of leadership that is credible, that is inviting. And so I really believe I found that within the Democratic Alliance. It's credible, it's inviting, and it's prospective. And I believe that young people will find that safe fit here. Yeah. So you believe that it, it represents the South Africa of tomorrow? Yes, certainly. I, I, I believe that um, part of healing us from our past is being able to integrate with each other, yeah, certainly in terms of different people, different cultures, but in terms of different areas. And, and I, I really believe that there's something amazing. I think the Democratic Alliance ought to also be called the Diverse Alliance because it's attracted a whole lot of people, and I love that. I love the fact that we're, we're young, we're dynamic, we're vibrant, we're a party that's delivering, we're attractive to the best, we want the best skills in the party, and I believe young people will look at that and be really attracted to that. And so, so yeah, that's what I'm looking forward to. Great, thank you. No, 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 thank you. And if you want to take over from me, no, 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 I'm just saying that that you know you must you must you must stop like usurping. Just wait until the 19th, then it's fine. Well, as you can see, it represents young people. Ah, we, we, we emulate to you. Yeah. 19th, you can take over. <laughs> Thank you. No, that's great. Oh, have you got a question? <laughs> oh, my scone. It's gone. It's gone. You know this one already. Ah, when? Yeah. Yes. Are you good? I'm good. I'm good. Where man dash? Says already a 16 year old. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have you done your party? Well, I'm I'm hoping I'll invite him to my 17th birthday. Mm -hmm. this way. <laughs> I think I think I, I and I stick by the comment that I made that actually I think our politics have become tired. We're debating mm -hmm. questions that I think people have stopped asking. What we ought to be doing is really acknowledging the fact that. There is no direct correlation between age and skill, per se. I believe that just by the virtue of an inheritance in, the, in, a developed, in a developing economy, is that the bulk of your skill will sit with young people, just because the bulk of the people sit there. I have great acknowledgement for experience, and we've attracted a whole lot of people around me that are well experienced, that know what they're doing. But I believe equally so, what I bring to this discussion is a sense of innovation. It's a sense of, let's find new ways of doing things. Because it is true, if we keep doing what we've always done, we'll get what we've always got. And to be honest with you, I'm proud of my age. I'm proud of the fact that at this age, there's a great opportunity to influence a city like Johannesburg. It just, just allows me the space to have the energy and the creativity to say we can make a really big difference here. And uh, I must be honest with you, uh, in interacting with a whole lot of people, that actually you see very senior politicians in this sense who maybe have lost touch with what tomorrow and future objectives need to look to. And so we need to find the space to blend. In this case, I agree with Julius, we need to blend young and old people to create dynamic teams that can deliver better. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Mike. No, thank you, and sir. I know you bring some great skills. And <laughs> you just need the charisma as well. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank you. This man is a champion. Oh, you're the champion. Uh, the people are telling you. <laughs> <laughs> sure.